have to say, everybody, I'm really thrilled because I'm being honored by the organization GLAAD for presenting positive images of the gay, lesbian, transgender, and bisexual community. Very happy. And uh, I gotta say, once again, here on The Tyra Show, we are gonna explore the gay community in a really fascinating way. Check this out. My name is Michael, and I'm asking gay man. My name is Sam, and I'm a bitch lesbian. My name is Heather Lettuce, and I am a drag queen. My name is Michael, and I'm a feminine gay male. My name is Jason, and I'm bisexual. I'm Kaden, and I'm a lipstick lesbian. I think I'm at the top of the gay community because you know, I'm not putting on a show for anybody else or for myself. I'm just being me. I better represent the gay community because I'm more open and outspoken and you know just like more free. At the top of the list, I think are the entertainers. I'm at the top of the gay community. I'm not afraid to show my strength and also um, the emotional side that I have. I think it's a trap. I think it's my turn to be on top. So I should be at the top of the community because I can use my sex appeal to get any girl that I want and trick any guy to getting what I want. I'm at the top because what's not to love about someone who loves everyone? In my opinion, I think the male bisexual is the lowest on the totem pole. Pick a team, for God's sake. The drag queens are definitely down at the bottom. I don't know what the deal is with them. They completely hide behind the wig and the makeup. The transgender would be a step above them. They're both trying to be something that they're not. Drag queens are looked down. Hey, yeah. I don't buy the bisexual business. I think that you're either on one team or you're on the other. The femme gay guy. They totally make my skin crawl. I have nothing sexy about that whatsoever. At the end of the day, some people may have a problem with the fact that I'm, you know, feminine and come through with my sexuality. But it really doesn't matter because, like, I'm fly and sexy. Like, screw them. Well, we know that society has often viewed the gay community harshly, but it was shocking to see how severely the gay community and the members of that we're going to see today judge themselves. So a social experiment was set up to put them all together in a place called the Gay Kingdom. Take a look. A fictitious kingdom was built with rules, rules, and open discussion. Let's see how things unfold in Gay Kingdom. Welcome to the kingdom. The kingdom employs a class system. Please assign the following roles. King, queen, jester, cook, pauper, concubine, and villain. King, who amongst us thinks they're the king? Obviously. Three of you think you're the king. As a bisexual man, I think I should definitely be king, considering I'm at the top of the food chain, if you will. I understand a little bit of all of you. I understand what it's like to want to be with a beautiful woman. I think you're just confused, honestly. That's you being prejudiced and that's you being ignorant. Well, you can't balance yourself on a fence forever. You gotta either fall well, over I to like one side or the other. See, that's where you're wrong. I want good sex with a hot person. I think you should be the concubine to everything. That's what you should do. <laughs> I think Sam should be king because I think uh, a butch lesbian, they're fighters. They have to fight the system. And they know how to fight and they know how to be strong. I think I you should be the top because I think just like me, we know what we want. We're straightforward and we take advantage of it. Well, I need a strong king. So what did you I pick? The what did you pick? We'll, we'll go for more of a masculine man. Right. Both. Right. Is it our lovely gentleman over here? Oh, show of hands. Oh, dear. Right. So the group decided on Michael, the more masculine gay man for king. It's time to pick the queen. Why would you want to be the queen? Just the same reason as him. I am a straight lesbian. Not straight. I'm a lesbian Here's woman. that word again. Sorry, I just mean I know what I want, just like the straight, not the straight, the gay masculine. See, when we're getting involved in this yeah. straight crap, which is so, it's so dismissive to the gay community, saying straight, 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 it is a terrible thing to say. I think the queen should be a strong individual. That's me. That's why me. Do you see no, yourself, no. Why do you see why yourself do I see as a strong individual? I think I still have the wits and the brains and the mind capacity of a man. Mind capacity of a man? What, what does that mean? mean? Yes, I, still, so you need to yes, I understand really, that. You know, I had a really. sex change. Really? I didn't have a lumbotomy. Well, I think since we're going with what society perceives as normal or what you all understand, no, then the normal. queen will be the lesbian. <laughs> Is it our lovely lipstick lesbian? We have one, two, three. Oh, oh wow. four votes. I got wow. My crown. Basically, whoever fits the norm on the table gets to be the king and queen. No, that's it's what I'm not. Getting uh, that's what I'm getting right on. Whatever. With only two roles decided, things were already getting tense. I just have to say, I'm really kind of shocked that we've gone for this traditional, very heterosexual version of what this kingdom should be. We are gay people. Look at us. 
I'm shocked that it was uh, chosen so traditionally, too. I thought it would be a little different. Joining us are the members of the kingdom, Michael. Hello. Caden. Head of lettuce. Hello. <laughs> Jason. Hi, Tyra. Sasha. Hello. Sam. Hey. And Michael. How you doing? Okay, so Hedda, you were very upset with these traditional roles, right? But yeah, I just felt that, you know, look at us, we're fabulous. And uh, we should think outside of the box. It's like very traditional casting. I mean, we should be able to expand our minds and expand our decisions. Mm -hmm. And I felt they went for those straight norms because that's what we've grown up with. Yeah. To internalize that role system. So it made sense to me, but also I was, at the same time, I was like, I can't believe we did this. Yeah, I thought there would have been like a little bit of humor you know, and I think I get a pass to be able to say this. I thought that would make Michael like the queen because he's like, you know, like <laughs> feminine. You know what I mean? Like I thought you guys had, would have kind of like fun with it, but it was pretty uh, straightforward. I mean, I thought I'd be the queen because I have queen in my title, drag queen, but no one felt that way. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> think about that either. I didn't feel that way. And um, so you, you kept on um, getting angry about... Um, about Caden saying that she was a straight lesbian, a straight lesbian. Well, what that, what is again, a straight lesbian? I don't understand that one. All right, well, oh. let me defend myself. In my defense, I think with um, the whole community being, you know, gay or lesbian, I mean, once you look at me, I don't, I don't classify as a butch or masculine or anything. You okay. look at me and guys will hit on me, you know what I mean? Not knowing that I'm a lesbian and because I am lipstick, I tend to hang out with the same type of girls like myself. We all like to wear dresses. We like to do our hair, get our makeup, Makeup done. So I don't say that to, as a straight lesbian, to downgrade my own people. It's not to hurt anybody in my community, but just kind of to I say that in terms of just, you know, that's how I classify myself. I mean, I get away with it. I just think know? the word straight is terrible because straight means good and gay means bad then. No, and that's it what doesn't, we're dealing with. Well, though, that's because how you're I'm using lesbian. It. No, but you use the word straight as if that is a good word and gay is a bad word. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying, I'm not attacking you. I'm just saying right. we internalize but, these things and we bring them out into our daily right. lives. Instead of saying straight, just say, I prefer only women. Yeah. Right. But that, I do prefer only women, though. Well, you that's know. good right. to know. So. Um, Sam, how do you feel about <laughs> how do you feel um, about her calling herself a straight lesbian when you're also a lesbian? Well, because I, I think it's kind of a sellout, also, to 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 get the perception that hey, you know, I'm straight. You're saying that you can easily manipulate both situations, and I think that using that to your highest leverage just kind of makes you seem a little bit more conniving and untrustworthy or I just wouldn't want to be standing next to someone mm -hmm. like that if anything. And you said that you, I was watching, you wanted to be king and they weren't having that. No, they were not, they were not. <laughs> I just didn't fit the male role of the king, you know, yeah. as much as I was the strongest probably one, the more confident one and they, they're, 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 they're <laughs> I mean, I guess They're, at the end of the day, sorry, I mean, I'm going home with a woman, you know what I mean? That's all that it matters to me is at the end of the day, who do I leave with, you know what I mean? So... I don't know if that's, I don't know if I, that really applies at the end of the it, day. It I really mean, doesn't. Really, doesn't. I think that's, that's a cop, I mean, well, it's deceptive. You were saying, I can trick men. What is that, trick men? What do you no, like? No, just like in terms of me going to <laughs> a job <laughs> <interview>. <laughs> I'm sorry, no.